An Ontario family is speaking out after their daughter with stage 4 cancer was refused a medically assisted death at a Vancouver hospital for religious reasons. The facility where Samantha O'Neill was being treated operates under a publicly funded Catholic health organization and she had to be transferred out to receive assistance in dying. CTV's Shannon Patterson talks to her parents about her final hours. Sam O'Neill planned to spend her 34th birthday running the Vancouver Marathon. Instead, she was at St. Paul's Hospital, having just been diagnosed with stage 4 cervical cancer. She was optimistic there would be some treatment. It would be chemo and radiation. O'Neill was determined to fight, but the cancer had already spread to her lymph nodes and pelvic bone. It was clear by early 2023 that treatment would not save her. We would describe her as fiercely independent, and she wasn't going to have anyone look after her. She was going to do it her way all the way. And that included choosing how and when she was going to die. In February, O'Neill was approved for medical assistance in dying or MAID. If there were a chance, I would have discouraged her. But there was no, there was no choice. And... She was in so much pain. After entering palliative care at St. Paul's Hospital in March, O'Neill learned she couldn't have a medically assisted death there because the hospital falls under the umbrella of Providence Healthcare, which is a Catholic organization that opposes MAID. While doctors at St. Paul's could prepare O'Neill for assisted death, they could not administer it. So it's not like the hospital's not fully vested into the process. It's just this idiotic policy that they won't do it at the hospital, which is really hard on the patient. It's really hard on the family. In the final hours of her life, as her family was trying to say goodbye, O'Neill had to be sedated to be transferred from St. Paul's to a nearby hospice for MAID. People were just trying to get her ready and, and there was all this commotion and it was confusing and it, it was, it was, it was hell, quite frankly. It was, it was a horrible, few hours. O'Neill did not regain consciousness before her maid procedure at the hospice. She died on April 4th, just weeks shy of her 35th birthday. And her last words to me were, well, it is what it is. And well, it is what it is. She's gone. As they mourn their daughter, O'Neill's parents are speaking out about the religious exemption for maid at Providence Healthcare Hospitals that they want the BC government to eliminate. Sam would like change. I'm sure of it. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver.